I don't know if you know what a ring flash is. It's often used in miniature photography, but it's all also used in portrait photography because it makes a ring in the eye. Uh, so it's a some consider it as a very cool effect. This is a uh, photograph licensed under Creative Commons license here in the Wiki Commons and photographed in 2009 by John Nuttall from New ha from Hampshire in United Kingdom. Um, I would like to uh, create a ring flash and a camera and then light an eyeball with it. So let's start with creating a camera. Create cameras camera. So the camera sits here. So now let's create a flash. And in order to create a flash, let's go to curves and surfaces because it's so nice and sweet to make it with uh, uh, NURB surfaces and click on the circle. The circle sits here. Now we duplicate it, uh, control D and scale the duplicate down just like this. So we have a ring flashy layout, select both curves. And now here is the icon for creating a loft. A loft is basically a, these are just curves, and a, a lo loft is a surface between two curves, or more cur more than two curves, in this case only two. So this is what the tool does. It creates a surface. Now we can delete the curves, just to keep the scene clean, and this looks like it's shaded from the other side. doesn't matter really. We will um, rotate this now in this direction because it's going to be the ring for our camera. And we want to do the rotation exact and precisely. So we enter the value 90 here so it's rotated by 90 degrees. It's probably a little bit big so we can scale it down like this and now it sits here so uh, and we, we can move it a little bit forward doesn't really matter I think now um, if we move the camera like so the flash has to move with the camera that's why we group it with a camera so the lower object which has to follow the higher ranking object the lower one is the flash it needs to follow the camera that's why we select the flash first then the camera and then we press the key control G which uh, creates a group which is called group 1 and under that group is a lofted surface that's our ring flash I could call it ring flash now and the camera 1 and uh, it stays intact when I rotate it, etc. So let's create an eyeball now. For the eye, we'll stay in the NURBS world and create a NURBS sphere. We rotate the, the sphere because of a special reason by 90 degrees. Right click uh, a new material, an Arnold shader namely the AI standard surface shader which is white and which has a reflection you see here it comes from specularity if you want it to not be uh, reflecting anything you just uh, move this slider all the way to the left but we won't care now there are very sophisticated ways to create eyes eyeballs and this is probably the simplest and uh, showing you a really simple way to make an eye now. We create a ramp for the eye and we currently don't see the ramp because we need to check this icon here to see the textures. And the texture uh, goes all the way wrong really and that's because uh, of the setup of that sphere. We need to choose instead of the V ramp the U ramp. And now if you look here uh-huh, our eye is sort of coming. In order to make it f face the camera, let's rotate it. 
um, we have this shader here and let's select it. If we select, when we select the shader, the object, which is the NURBS sphere, will be deselected, which is nice because now we can see the changes directly. So let's click on the icon uh, which leads us to the ramp for the color. If we move the white part to the left, the whole eyeball becomes more or, more or less white, which is not bad. If we want, say, brown or green eyes, or blue eyes, we click here, so we get another color node here, or color option here. Let's go to the green, and now we can do some adjustments here in the ramp. Move the white closer to the green, and open the eye a little bit more, like this maybe. And as I said, I'm sorry, this is <laughs> the most simple eye I can think of. If we render this with Arnold, we get a black scene that's obvious because we don't have a light yet. Um, if we create, say, um, a sky dome light, lower the intensity from 1 to, say, 0 0.4, this is what Arnold renders. It renders our ring flash, which currently isn't a flash at all, and this eye. Now uh, let's delete this again and create a light from our ring flash. It needs to be a light, doesn't it? And uh, we go, we select it, go to Arnold again, lights, and create a mesh light, and it will return an error message. The selected transform has no meshes. That's true, it's still a NURP surface. We have the ring flash, the wannabe ring flash selected. Go to modify and convert because we're converting something now from a NURP surface to polygons. Here we go and now here is the NURPS to polygon object. From that we can create a mesh light. Done. Now let's render it. We already see the effect of the light and that's basically all I wanted to show you.